Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tower reading for my Libras for the week starting January 25th, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. You can like and share my videos with your friends and your family. And uh, also, if you want to see me on social media, you could see all my information below the video as well. And now on to your reading, my beautiful Libras. I want you to know that before recording each our reading, I always meditate and ask spirit for guidance for you. And I also pre-shuffle the cards as well. So we're starting this week, my Libras, with the Three of Cups. Wow, it's great energy for you. Okay, I mean, you do have your sun transiting uh, in a very interesting place of your chart, which is your fifth house. And the fifth house is House of Fun. Yes, it's House of Leo. This card means that you're, you know getting some type of uh, invitation, you know, you're going places, you're being seen, you're having fun. And the fun that you're having is with the people that are, are around you, okay? I think Venus um, is now, which is your sign, is now still, as I'm doing this reading, in Sagittarius, which is your third house, which is also the house of fun. And even if it will move, when Venus will move in your fourth house, it will be very comfortable. Fourth house is a very comfortable house for um, Libras. So great energy at the beginning of the week, my Libras. I feel that, you know, people are inviting you. Um, they want to, you know, know your opinion. They want to you also have this type of like, uh, you know, you're receiving a lot of attention. You know, you have... Uh, you're clicking with the right people, the, you know, um, people find you um, fun or, you know, it's a great energy, especially for my Libra because Libras like to have fun. You know, Venus has to have fun to be able to be in a great mood. So it's a good energy for you, my Libras. And let's see what we have in the near past position for you. We have the Eight of Swords. Interesting. Um, let's see what could bring that energy uh, in this week for you, my Libras. I mean, the Eight of uh, Swords here shows that you're, you know, there's some type of restriction that you're putting on yourself. Or maybe, maybe there's a physical restriction. We don't know. But, you know, normally Swords is air. It's all about mental. Okay? So maybe there's something going on with you. I think, you know, having uh, Mercury squaring you, because we know Mercury, which is now going forward, is squaring you in um, Capricorn, which is fourth house away from you. So it's a difficult aspect, means that maybe in terms of communication, maybe you feel you, you're not... You, I'm not sure what you, why you feel that way. Maybe you feel you may not be able to communicate clearly with people. I mean, I know we're coming out of a, a retrograde of three weeks, but, you know, Libra, your diplomacy, the way you communicate is actually your your asset. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy to see that it's in a near past position for you next week. I want you to shake that off, Libras, because it's important that you know, that you're, you know, you feel confident, especially with all the attention you're receiving this week. And in the future position for you, my Libras, we have here the Emperor. Maybe it's about a man. Maybe, you, you know, there's something going on. But the Emperor is, um, he's the alpha man, okay? It goes great with you, uh, my Libras. He's the one, you know, here... We'll have to see what he's looking at, but what, what Spirit is showing us is, you know, you still have the authority in terms of your communication, even if you may not be able to express yourself as as well, okay? 
or you feel whatever you feel in your mind, but you have, you know, your uh, Mars in his house, Mars, the ruler of your second house, which is the house of speech, like I said, I think in one of your past video, and this will be an important transit for you. So you, you have to remember that you're still the boss. And you, you must communicate clearly, even if you're not really comfortable communicating with that much, like maybe, I don't know, authority, or maybe communicating with that much, you know, higher-minded people. But you can do it, Libras. I mean, again, that's your asset, is your communication. So I feel that here in the future position, Spirit wants you to know that you'll take the position back. It was just a retrograde, or it could have been... You know, whatever triggers in your mind uh, this week that, you know, prevents you to communicate clearly, know that it will go away. You know, maybe, like I said, it triggered by, you know, this new network or, you know, this new, a lot, you know, the dealing with a lot of people right now. Okay, but again, it's a major arcana, so trust that you, you will do that. Okay. And you'll take the position and keep it for a long time because it's in a future position. And the card that we have for you, uh, my Libras, in the outcome position is the judgment. So this is what the emperor is looking, the judgment card. Um, I mean, there's a full moon this week. The full moon is in your 11th house. It's in Leo. And your Leo is the house of friends, network, group, circle, okay? Important or not, work or professional, personal, they, they represent, you know, a lot of people. So, you know, this will show you, I guess, you know, who are the people that really are there and that are put there by spirit to help you achieve your goal because the emperor is looking at achieving something, okay? You know, and it's not, sometimes it's not just about him. It could be about others because the emperor likes to help others. It's pretty, uh, comf he's pretty, he's in a pretty comfortable position. So now if we're talking about energy, it could mean that again, that this week you may, uh, severe some relationship. Maybe you feel that, you know, you have all those friendship and some of them are, you feel that are, you know, some of them are real, some of them are not. Or maybe it's just the way you want to invest yourself where you decide that, oh, I may not be able to continue this this relationship. I'm giving you sample example, uh, or I should say general example. You know, this is a general reading. It may not apply to each Libras out there, but it's an energy for next week. But, you know, I want you to know that everything that needs to be known will be shown to you. So don't, you know, release yourself from this anguish that you have or thinking maybe you have to make the decision. It seems that it will be made maybe, you know, it will be, the fact that it will be exposed to you will allow you to just see things for who they are, see people for who they are as well. So I'm going to end this reading here, my beautiful Libras. I trust you enjoy it. Sending you lots of kisses. Mwah. I love you, my Libras. Bye.